Hi, in this video, we'll learn how to add and subtract the integers. But before we do that, let me introduce you to the concept of zero pair. What do you mean by zero pair? Zero pair means that when you add or subtract negative numbers, they add up to zero. So suppose if you have negative one and positive one, they add up to zero. Similarly, suppose if you have a positive counter and negative counter. So suppose if we have a positive counter, let's, uh, let's assume that this is a positive counter and you have a negative counter. So positive and negative counter, they add up to zero. So that means they cancel out each other. Positive, cancel, uh, positive counter cancel out the negative counter, and uh, so they add up to zero. So this is called zero pair, adding the zero pair. We'll see how, how will that works. We'll see how that works in the uh, subtraction problem. So let's take a look at the first example. Now I have negative three plus negative four. How do I add these two negative numbers? How do we add two negative numbers? So let's let's uh, use the counters to solve this problem. So I have three negative counters. Now negative, this is negative, and this is positive. So the closed circle is negative, and the uh, this circle, or the open circle is positive. So three negative counters. So let's make three negative counters. One, two, three. And then you add four negative counters into it. So you add four negative counters, one, two, three, four. So what do you get? You have three negative counters here, and then you add four more negative counters. So, so you have total seven counters, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you have seven negative counters. So your answer will be negative seven, right? Now let's take a look at another example. Another example is two plus negative three. Now, you have two positive counters this time. Two positive counters, so the positive counters are the, these. So we'll write two positive counters here, and then you add three negative counters to it. So we'll add three negative counters, one, two, and three. Now we know that positive and negative, they cancel out each other. So one positive counter will cancel out the another negative counter, and this will cancel out the another negative counter. So positive and negative, they cancel out each other. So I'm only left with a negative counter, only one negative counter. So my answer will be negative one, right? Now let's take a look at another example I have. Third is five plus negative one. Now how to solve this one? So I have five positive counters and uh, one negative counter. So I'll make five positive counters, one, two, three, four and five, and then I have to add one negative counter to it. So I add, I'm add. i adding one negative counter to it. And I know that positive and negative, they cancel out each other. So this one will cancel out with this. One positive counter will cancel out with the negative counter. counter. And I'm only left with one, two, three, four. Four, and are they positive or negative counters? They are positive counters. So my answer will be positive four. So I will write here, my final answer will be four. Right, now let's take a look at another example. Uh, so fourth, I have negative nine plus negative five. Now here, what I have to do is I have nine negative counters. So I'll make nine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are my nine negative counters and I have to add five negative counters to it. So I'll add five more, one, two, three, four, five. Now you can see that these are all negative counters. We don't have positive and negative. So if there are positive counters and negative counters, they will cancel out each other. But if you have all negative or all positive, you have to add them, right? So we'll just add them. We have nine here and five here. So we have 14 counters, but are they positive or negative? They are negative. All of them are negative. So we'll write negative 14 as our answer. So, uh, you have to remember that if you have positive and negative counters, you have to cancel them. Uh, you have to cancel them and in negative counters, you just add all of them. But you have to remember that if, if you're left with negative counters, you have to write the negative sign in front of your answer. If you are left with positive counters, you have to write the positive sign in front of it. So this is the strategy which you have to remember. Now let's take a look at another example. Uh, 
So this time we'll have all, uh, we'll do subtraction. So we'll do subtraction. We are done with the addition problem. Now let's try subtraction. Subtraction works differently than addition. So I have seven minus negative four. How do I subtract this? Now we are doing subtraction. So I have seven positive counters. So let's draw seven positive counters. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then I have to take away since I'm subtracting. Subtracting means removing or taking away, right? So you're taking away four negative counters, right? You're taking away four negative counters. But you'll say, I don't even have negative counters. I have all positive counters. I have seven positive counters, but I don't have the negative counters. So what can I do? So what I'm going to do is I'll add four negative counters to this problem. See. I will add four negative problem, four negative counters because I need four negative counters here. So I will add four negative counters, one, two, three, and four. Now, when I add four negative counters, actually I'm changing the problem. I can't do that, I'm not allowed to do it. So what I'll do is I'll add four positive counters because I know that they will add up to zero. I know that they will add up to zero so I'm adding four negative counters and then I'm adding four positive counters and they will add up to zero. And if you're adding zero to anything, you're not changing it. You're adding zero to anything, you're not changing it, right? Seven plus zero will still remain seven. Uh, 15 plus zero will still remain 15 or 15 minus zero will still remain 15, right? So you're not doing anything, you're not changing the problem, you're just uh you're just adding zero to it okay so now you have seven positive counters and you have four negative counters you have four negative counters and you're taking away four negative counters taking away four negative counters so you just you just cancel this four negative counters you're taking them away you don't need them so you're left with how many counters one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so you're left with eleven counters and they are all positive counters. So your answer will be positive 11. Okay, now let's take a look at another example I have. Second is negative 3 minus negative 4. Now here you have both uh, the numbers are negative numbers and you're subtracting. So you, first of all, you have three negative counters. So you make three negative counters here. Then you have to take away, since you're subtracting, you take away four negative counters. But again, I don't even have four negative counters. I just have three negative counters, right? I just have three negative counters, but I want to take away four negative counters. So what I'm doing is I'm in the need of one more negative counter to, to take away four, count, ne four negative counters, right? So I'm in need of one more negative counter. Then I'll have four negative counters, see? So I'm in a need of one more negative counter and I've got that now. I can take away four negative counters, but I can't just add one more negative counter to it because I'm changing the value, right? So I will add a positive counter with it. I'll add a positive because I know that positive and negative, they add up to zero. So basically I'm not adding anything to this problem. Uh, I'm just adding zero into this problem, not adding anything. So now you can see that I have four negative counters here. So, I have negative three, and then I'm taking away four negative counters. So let's take away four negative counters from here. Take away four negative counters, take away four negative counters. So I'm only left with one positive counter, one positive counter. So my answer will be positive one. Okay, let's take a look at this example now. I have negative five minus negative one. So you have negative five and then you're subtracting, you're taking away negative one from it. So what we'll do is we'll make five negative counters. One, two, three, four, and five. So I'm, um, I have five negative counters and I want to take away one negative counter from it. So now, if this problem looks good, right? Because I don't have to add a zero pair into it. I have added zero pair into this one. I've added zero pair into this one but I don't have to add zero pair into this one because I have I have negative one counter. I have one negative counter, right? So I will just take away one negative counter from it. So let's get rid of one negative counter. 
How many do you have left now? You have four counters left and they all are negative. So I'm left with four negative counters. So that's how you have to solve.